Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Good morning to you and welcome back to the channel and welcome today to a very AMG themed outing. I'm going to be jumping into my GTR to head over to Frankfurt Airport where I am picking up Parker from Vehicle Virgins. He's flown over from America because today is the collection day of his new Mercedes AMG E63 S. So we're going to head together in my car down to Stuttgart, down to Sindelfingen where the Mercedes customer center is. People can fly over, do European delivery collect their car here then we will take both cars together and convoy over to a falterback the real birthplace of the engines inside our AMGs basically a bit of fun Parker's new car we're heading over together this should be an awesome day out let's jump in the car and get on the move Please do excuse the fact that my car is not clean for today's outing. As you might have seen in my last video, I've been driving it around in the snow. So even with 600 miles on it still being run in, it is very much daily driver material, hence all of this disgusting muck underneath. And it really needs a proper, proper clean already. It's running on the Pirelli Soto Zeros, which you need in winter over here in Germany. But let us step inside. I think it is time to get on the move today and head on down to catch up with Parker. So we've never actually met before. Four. Should be awesome to see him today. I'm very much looking forward to the outing as well, of course, taking my car back to its home, which is quite a, I think, a big deal. It's a nice thing to do the first time. So I'll drive over to the airport and catch up with Parker there. Away we go then. That means the usual fun and games and trickery. Oh, that's the grime on the window there of pulling open my garage. So a little bit of autobahn today. Although, like I said, this car is still being run in, which means I can only drive it up to about four and a half thousand RPM for the moment. One of the things that I really like about Frankfurt, despite all of its oddities as a city, is that the airport is so near the actual centre of the city. It takes about 10-15 minutes to drive here, which makes it incredibly easy for the amount of flying I do, travelling to film these videos, and I believe that Parker should be waiting somewhere around here, so we will find him in a second. Cool, cool, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm very good too, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you had that one planned. I had a plan. Every cab here is a Mercedes. Yeah, it's you blend in, we all blend in. We do. That's a bummer, I guess. Wait, but... hey, welcome. You've been a GTR? You've been in no, a GTR before? No, never. No, never. This is my okay, first, first time. Well, GTR it will be... and it's in Germany and it's right hand drive. So You are sat on the wrong side. <laughs> yeah. So everybody here doesn't have a clue about the steering wheel being on the right. Because yeah. obviously there aren't that many British cars around. Interesting. So we'll get some odd looks. If you like pretend you're driving, yeah. and then, like just let go of the wheel. Well, this is great. Like... I'm actually reviewing the car right now in America. But... From the American driving yeah. seat. Wow, these seats are really comfortable. I like them so much. And you have a ton of legroom. This is weird. Yeah. It's weird being on the left side of the car. I'm like, I'm ready to drive. <laughs> Do it. Pretend. Yeah. Welcome to your first drive in a GTR. Yeah. With lots of lovely burble going on behind. I think I've driven every other version of this car but the GTR. Well, it sounds good. I'm only allowed to use 4,500 RPM, as you will oh, experience wow. later. Okay. Running That's in, pretty fun. Running in problems. <laughs> But then in this kind of weather, I'm not necessarily yeah, yeah, sure exactly. that more than that is sensible. And you have snow tires on the car? Yeah, we're on Soto Zero snow tires. And I tell you from driving it, why it's so dirty right now, is that uh, it was a lot of fun to drive on the snow. I imagine Even on so. the 4,500 RPM. And it limits going the car to 4,500? No, 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 it's oh, not okay. limited, but Just, you gotta be you've, got a, you've got a sticker on here that tells you. Oh, that's nice. Don't disobey the rules. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise your engine will blow up. <laughs> yeah. Have you been to Germany before? Uh, one time. I was like 11 years old. And okay, so I you're not driving. I haven't done anything. I've never been on the Autobahn. I've never, yeah. This you are in for a new experience. Yeah. It is going to be very, very fun. Yeah, I put uh, 17,000 miles in a year on my Huracan. Wow. I'm, I'm at 23,500 now. You are nuts. Yeah. We are now about 20 minutes away. Are you slightly excited? I'm like more than slightly excited. You Although seem very I, calm. I, I <laughs> like this car so much and I've been having such a great time talking that I almost forgot that we're about to go pick up my new car. But yeah. now that you just <laughs> said that, I'm I'm beyond pumped. How long's the wait been? Uh, it's been about, I want to say five months. Okay, and that's not too bad. It's not too bad. I know you've probably waited many, many years well, for cars. This car so. is an 18 month wait. Wow, year and a half. That's, a, that's incredible. But it is a more, you know, I'm just getting a, a run of the mill sedan. It's, not less of of a, it's, an, it's an E63 right? AMG. But I was, watching, I was watching videos last night on the car and just yeah. kind of thinking, how ridiculous is it that you can buy a car 
that you can drive to work every day, that looks cool, is classy, has an incredibly luxurious interior, and then you can turn it into drift mode and yeah, just I know, go right? absolutely bananas. It has 603 horsepower. And the sun is just starting to poke back through. It was such a grim morning. This is, like, this is how it should be it's, in December. It's meant to happen. I was a bit, when, when it was sort of like collection day in December, I was like, uh-oh, it's going to be snowy, as I experienced with my car, hence why it's filthy. It's going to look horrendous next year. Although it's yeah. roughly the same colour, right? This car with the dirt, the satin grey grime. Yeah, so I've got uh, the selenite grey magno, yeah. and that's actually what every black Mercedes looks like after a day of use. In the my, snow. Actually, my, we've got some snow ahead of us here. There we go. My <laughs> S-Class is gloss black, and, and it's basically magno grey every yeah, day. most of the time. <laughs> well, from gloss black on the bonnet through to magno grey and the lower bumper in the rear. Exactly. <laughs> I will caveat that I don't really know where we're going. Mercedes-Benz left. That sounds good. Oh, Mercedes-Benz straight and Mercedes-Benz <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, no. That sign was legitimately Mercedes-Benz in every direction. Is there a sign that says, I'm going to go with left, that Mercedes-Benz left, Mercedes-Benz right? <laughs> oh, goodness knows. Yeah, wow. We're about to go inside, but this man has made me make my car this ridiculously filthy. I'll pay for the detail. <laughs> <laughs> this think, is what you're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah right? It's a you're, car that's bought to be driven. It's been driven. You're driving right. a near 600 horsepower rear wheel drive car in the winter. Yeah, perfect. That's how it should awesome. be. Let's go in. I'm keeping you All more right. than long enough. And we will shortly try and get both cars together. So we've come to pick up your smart today. Yeah, yeah. yeah? Just kidding. I didn't get an E63. Just I, a smart I, car. I got you all the way out here. It's a manual though. It's a manual smart. Manual smart, so. That must be fun. Brabus? No. Oh. Couldn't afford that one. Oh well. First time I've ever been here, so I'm quite excited to see what this place is like. Let's just say that this hasn't yet gone entirely to plan. <laughs> I think that's, I think that's the, the, the summary for the moment. Unfortunately, somewhere along the way, we don't exactly know how this has happened. Factory, dealer, or, or just a message that's got lost. Parker's car is slightly delayed, so it's not actually here ready to pick up today. So we've come up for lunch in this lovely place where there is a very individualized uh, AMG GTC Roadster behind us. We're going to have some lunch and basically come up with a plan for what we do today. Yeah. They've offered an S-Class loaner. We think we're going to head over to, well, we were going to head over to Falterback. We're talking to the people at Mercedes over there. So fingers crossed we can come up with a plan and find out where this is going from here. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, trying to buddy. find my car. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Trying to find it. Yeah, let's go search I mean, it, it. It is what it is. I can't build it myself, so I'm pretty much at their mercy. Yeah, well. Let's see. We have a plan. We're going to head over to a falter bag where some things lie in wait. But firstly, here in the center of excellence, I just want to show you quickly these two S63s, the convertible and the coupe, which are finished in completely bespoke colors and options and specifications. It's Mercedes literally making the cars to the customer's wishes. But have a look at the interior of this. I mean, the paint is bespoke already, but the interior completed with the dual tone here and the stitching very customized. I didn't realize you could actually go to this level of customization off the specifications list when I did my GTR. But these S63s look very nice. There are many specs and different leathers and paints and things that you can have, but have a look at this GTR that we've just stumbled upon with the dual tone red and black on the interior. That's really cool. It wouldn't have worked so well with yellow, but it's nice to see. I think it looks good on this car. Parker, they found you an SLS Roadster. I'll take it. Yeah? I don't want to break it though. Onto the Autobahn? Like, I'll race the Aventador that I have that looks just like this. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Check out this thing, the Energy Force concept. F-Cell written on the side, but this is just awesome. Off-roading beast. It has to be said, Mercedes have pulled out the stops. We went for a factory tour to see the S-Classes being built, including the S600 Maybach. No cameras in there, of course, but now Parker has gone to pick up his loaner car, his S560 that he's gonna be driving. I'm heading back to collect my GTR. We're gonna convoy over to a Falterback where some more surprises lie in wait. Oh, I can't wait till this is run in and I can actually use more revs out of the engine, but we're nearly at a falterback. It's funny going from Sindelfingen where this car is put together and assembled to a falterback where the engine is built. And I showed you guys around the engine plant earlier this year. Incredible place where the C63, E63, S63 and the AMG GT engines are made. The four litre bi-turbo, one man, one engine as they say, with the name stamped under the engine bay. But as this car is getting a little bit more towards being run in, 
can start to hear a little bit more of the noise, still keeping it within the revs. I can't wait to give it full load and actually just listen to those. This car just keeps getting dirtier and dirtier, but I'm parked beside the S560 that Parker is driving. However, huge props to Mercedes, because we've just had a look around the engine plant that I filmed earlier. I had an awesome time there, but here is an E63S sedan or saloon, just like Parker's, although a different color, but the same car that we're gonna take out for a quick little drive now. So he can at least drive an E63S over here during this little trip, which is amazing of them. Then when we get back, I'm gonna have a quick look inside this showroom, which has been redone since the last time I was here with some pretty cool stuff inside as well. But let's jump in here and go out for a little drive. You've got to love that engine note. Oh, the lights. I just saw a crazy light show on the ground that they did. It does have some very, very clever trick tech. And the best thing about this car is how much fun it is to drive as well. I experienced it at Portimao on track using drift mode, seeing what it was like. But the burbles, it's basically a very similar engine to in the GTR. More horsepower in there. I have 585 that has 612. It's different turbos and a slightly different setup but the burbles and reverberations around here, just while we take a photo, are not bad at all. Hello. Hello, one and all. Welcome to Seen Through Glass. Oi, I like how you dropped that in there. So how does it feel? It feels lovely. This is spec very similarly to your car, right? Yeah, the interior is identical. So from the inside, it'll feel just All like the carbon, the, car. the black interior, the performance seats. You, yep. You got those? Yep. This nice. one doesn't have, the, mine has the sunroof, but okay. that's not all that important for Spirited Driving. Drive. Do you have the 12 o'clock stripe I on the I believe so, yeah. Very sporty. I love these displays. Yeah, the displays are absolutely incredible. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, let's go ahead and drive it. Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Shmi doesn't wear a point of view camera like that. No? How does he wear, <laughs> do you wear a point of view camera ever or no? <laughs> Not really. What, Not guys, really. what do you think of that look? I think I look good. No, <laughs> I look, it's very scary. Parker's been uh, driving in his, his car. Yep. Or as close as we'll we get to We'll pretend it's my car. And if you want to know his thoughts about driving in his car, his E63, over to his channel for the collection day experience. Uh, yeah, in my video, I don't look like this. I <laughs> rarely show, I don't think I've ever shown this on camera. So no. exclusive preview of the vehicle version's point of view camera. And that's to film the amazing display. Anyway, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll stop distracting you. That's okay. And we can uh, pop off the light and experience the car a bit. Cameras are great. We've parked back up the E63, but just quickly, the showroom here has been updated since I last visited, and it's looking really cool. The DTM Safety Car GTS in there, a couple of other models, the E63 Wagon as well, and there's the AMG GT3 over at the far end. But we are now gonna jump back in our cars. We are gonna head in the GTR and in the S560 from here over to Motor World, where there is always cool stuff to see, and um, basically just see where the evening takes us. We've stopped for dinner on the way here, which means a fair bit of time has gone past. However, we're arriving at Motor World and I'm looking in the windows. Is that a 488 Novatech Rosso in the Ferrari dealership? I think it might have been. There's always some interesting stuff around here because you've got all of the dealerships, you've got plenty of other car themed things here at Motor World. So we'll head into the main car park. Parker is following me and just, I don't know, have a little wander around see if we find anything interesting this evening. As expected, it is closed, but it is also the coldest place we could possibly have come right it's now. It's so it cold. Freezing here. However, we're walking down to the Performante. Would you be tempted to upgrade to a Performante? I've thought about it a lot. It's one of those, it's a better car in every way, but to me personally, I don't think that I would spend the money because I already have almost the car. Okay, and, and I've, I've frozen us because under the lights in there, the Verde Ithaca Aventador is That's looking beautiful. very nice. It's the way it stands out in a sea of blue. Yeah. It's just very, very bright. Anyway, anyway, we came around to have a look at this, the Performante that is parked up here, which uh, can't really see very much in the dark, can we? I think that pretty much brings us to an end of the collection day of Parker's S560. It's a lovely thing. It is a lovely thing, no, to be fair. No, it actually is a brilliant car. Um, but it isn't the car it's that the you... wrong car, but... Yeah, not necessarily the one that was planned for today. However, nonetheless, this has been pretty fun. I'm not going to complain. Absolutely. Because we came down in the GTR, we collected your car, we went to AMG, we had a look around. We actually had a look around the Mercedes factory. Yeah, no. We it's... had a very nice lunch. We went out in the E63S, then we stopped by Motorworld. Wow, we, we did a lot of things today. That's one day. That's crazy. Yeah. 
Not bad, not bad. And tomorrow, the next car I have coming will be revealed. I'm so jealous. You guys are gonna, you're gonna freak out. Yeah, it, trust me, it's gonna look good. Tomorrow, in this town, Stuttgart, no hints required. The color will be known. Anyway, I'll wrap it up there. Very nice to meet you today, Parker. Great to meet you too. And fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Maybe this becomes a different car. <laughs> An E63. Anyway, guys, I'm sure if you aren't already following Parker, you have by now gone over, checked, that out, checked out his channel. I'm not going to lie. I'm very, very tired. But thank you very much for watching. We will see you again tomorrow. Or as you would say, next, next video. Next video. There we go. Cheers. <laughs>